Rachel Grimshaw talks with Wade Masters and Karen George from Paws and Claws Adoption about the importance of adopting pets. By adopting pets, it's not it not only stops the cycle of en- of endless neglect and abuse, but it also brings you a lifetime of companion while simultaneously saving a life. To take us back to where it all began. Paws and Claws Adoptions was founded in June 2012. It was a private rescue and rehoming service, which was rehoming cats, dogs, kittens, puppies, all of that. In April 2014, we opened our adoption centre on McGill Road and we did adoptions there for around about a year and a half. And then we shut down the adoption centre and refocused on rehoming our animals from foster homes. And we've found that that's been very successful in that we have much better health outcomes for animals and better socialisation. So how did you get involved personally with Paws and Claws Adoption? Basically it was a case of my dog had passed and it had been nearly a year, year and a half and I was sort of half looking for other animals. I found the perfect dog, beautiful little girl and of course I was told, oh you have to bring your dog to meet this dog. So of course I went all the way home, got my dog, because we had two, went all the way back and got told, oh no she's been adopted and it's like I put a very unflattering remark on Facebook and one of my friends said have you ever thought about fostering you know you can take in a dog have it for a couple of weeks and then if you like it you can adopt it yourself if not somebody else will certainly want to and about 30 dogs later I'm still here um similar kind of experience we had we had lost lost one of our cats so we had a cat who was very lonely because they were a bonded pair somebody said to me have you been to paws and claws so I went in that was when it was at the center on McGill Road so went in there and adopted a kitten from there and my daughter and my son wanted to have more kittens and we were well why don't we just start volunteering there so we started out volunteering so we could spend more time then it kind of slid into foster caring foster caring kittens mainly helping to socialize them and lead them up to the point of being ready for adoption and that's kind of slid again into volunteering more and then ending up on the committee so but it's been an incredibly rewarding experience so what exactly is the process of adoption then certainly we get an animal in and obviously we make sure that it is de-sex microchipped and vaccinated prior to being ready for a home we put them in a foster home who socializes them gets an understanding of their personality and behaviors and then what we do is we write up an ad for them put it on facebook saying this is the animal this is its personality we then get people to apply to adopt we read through their questionnaires and try and find those families that we feel would be suitable for the animal and then we do meets so you can sometimes get three or four people come and meet an animal before one of them takes it home awesome Um, So what are some of the advantages of adopting a pet over, say, buying it in a retail store? I think all of our one of the great things about it is often it's it's saving an animal's life because animals kittens that are abandoned and taken in by paws and claws and socialised so you you're doing a job for society you're doing a lovely thing but also because of the foster care arrangement that we have you've got a foster carer who's lived with that that animal for a period of time and they can tell you about the animal you know that it's been looked after in a home properly um, whereas you don't know from a shop or something whether it's been from a puppy farm or some other awful sort of um, arrangement which we don't want to support so I think you're doing a good thing in many different ways by adopting rather than shopping. Um, So why do you think it is so important to adopt then? Definitely like Karen said you're saving animals lives we're taking those animals that are either no longer wanted or would have been dropped in a shelter because of a change in circumstances we've had people who've you know given their dogs up to us after living with the dog for three months in their car because they've known it's the right thing to do for the animal you're then taking that animal, you're getting an animal that's de sex, microchip and vaccinated and the adoption fee is usually significantly less than what you would pay to have that work done at your local vet. You're saving a life and everyone you take then makes space in the rescue to take another one in and help them as well. And all the proceeds from every adoption go straight back into saving another animal. So there are no, we're entirely volunteer run, not for profit organisation so we take no profits from anything. So when you adopt a pet you know that that fund is going to go and help another pet and then it's just like rolls on and on and on so so do you think there is anything people should really consider before they do go ahead and adopt a pet whether it's right for their lifestyle i mean you need to think about particularly with an animal it's a lifetime commitment uh you can't just say look i'm gonna get this dog and you know i'm gonna go out to work 
you know, every day, seven days a week or whatever and leave the dog sitting there all by itself. You need to think how you're going to incorporate that animal into your life because they become part of the family and even cats as well are independent beings, more so perhaps than dogs, but they also need your time and affection and um, all of that. We encourage people to have their cats as indoor cats and always at night um, for the safety of the environment, for wildlife, but also for the animals. So... I guess really thinking about it and talking to family about it before it's those split second decisions where, oh, I think I want a pet is not really the best way to adopt. So what can people do to help lessen the numbers of homeless animals being created? Desex your pet. There's nothing more to say. We, we have this where people go, why do you charge $190 for a kitten when we can get them for free off Gumtree? The problem with the Gumtree is it's not desexed, it's not microchipped, it's not vaccinated. Six months later, you're going to have another 10 kittens going out into the environment. We're trying to reduce that by ensuring that every single animal that leaves our care is desexed, chipped and vaccinated. But even at home, there are programs out there to assist you with desexing your animal. We just cannot stress that enough. Desex your pets. So do you have any final messages for someone who may be interested in adopting? I definitely think that it doesn't matter what you believe or which rescue you go to. There are hundreds of rescues in South Australia that are currently overflowing with cats, kittens, dogs and puppies. Definitely investigate that as your first option because if you're adopting from a rescue, you're helping to break the cycle of backyard breeding. And also, if you can find it in your heart to become a foster carer, it's a wonderful thing to do, particularly when elderly people go into aged care and they need to part with a well-loved animal. To be able to provide um, peace of mind for those people to find a home for the animal and, if possible, continue to allow them to have updates. And when kittens are found abandoned and they're completely fearful, you know, we fostered a couple of kittens who hid under the bed for a week but through weeks of sort of sitting with them and, and real, letting them realise that humans are safe, we've been able to socialise them and now they've been adopted out and are loved. So it's a wonderful thing to do, the foster care arrangement. I think that, you know, that helps rescues. And there are rescues always require foster carers. We have more animals than we know what to do with and most rescues are turning animals away every day because they just don't have enough carers. And we support carers with everything. So if you want to become one, give us a call. <laughs> If you would like to find out more on helping animals find their forever home, you can check out pawsandclawsadoption.com.au or you can head down to your local animal shelter.